on this episode of Gaijin Historian. We cover the history of Kanda Myojin, one of Tokyo's oldest Shinto shrines. Unlike Sensoji or Meiji Shrine, Kanda Myojin is not located directly in a touristy part of Tokyo, but is worth the short detour out of Akihabara to get to it. At only a 10-minute walk from Akihabara Station, Kanda Myojin is located here. Originally built in 730 AD in a small fishing village near what today is the Otomachi district of Tokyo, Kanda Myojin was moved from this location in 1603 for the expansion of Edo Castle. And finally, it was moved again in 1616 to its current location, located here in Chiyoda City. It was given the honorable title by worshippers as the Guardian of Edo, being situated in what used to be the location of the superstitiously unlucky northeastern gates of Edo Castle. In the beginning, Kanda was home to two deities, Daikoku and Ibisu, both being one of the seven lucky gods of Shinto. Daikoku is the happy-looking god of wealth, farmers, food, and good fortune. Ibisu is also the god of fortune, as well as honest labor, fair dealings, maritime, and fishing. Ibisu is actually a really unique god, being one of the only deities of the seven lucky gods who completely originated from Japan. I hope to dedicate a video to him in the future, as he is a unique god that is also deaf, and this disability has played an important role in his popularity in Shinto practice as a whole. It was not until 1309 AD when resident bad boy Taira no Masakado was enshrined here. Taira no Masakado is celebrated as the first samurai of Japan after leading one of the largest insurgent forces in the Heian period against the central government of Kyoto. If you want a really good video series on the life of Taira no Masakado, I recommend Linfamy's two-part series on him. Links to the playlist are in the description down below. Taira no Masakado's story did not end after his death. It is said his head, that was taken as a prize back to Kyoto, was not happy with being hung from a tree for all to see, and decided to fly back to find its body, but exhausted, came to rest in a small fishing village. The villagers gave the head a proper burial to calm its restless spirit near the grounds of Kanda Myojin. Unfortunately, that did not work for long, and Taira no Masakado still likes to cause havoc to this day in Tokyo. When Kanda moved from its original site in 1603, his grave was left behind, but can still be seen today. During the warring period of 1467 through 1603, many famous warriors worshipped here for luck in battle, including Tokugawa Ieyasu. He later attributed his success at the Battle of Sekigahara to the shrine. The Tokugawa clan continued to look after the shrine for many years. Kanda Matsuri, or Kanda Festival, is one of Tokyo's three major festivals and takes place every other year in celebration of Tokugawa's victory. After its final move, things were pretty chill at Kanda up until the 1800s. The Tokugawa clan kept the shrine prosperous and even expanded its grounds. Once the 1800s hit, we are hit with some rapid fire changes, both figuratively and literally. During the Meiji Restoration in 1868, Masakado was de-enshrined for being seen as a dangerous anti-government figure that should not be revered. In 1874, after much pressure to visit the shrine, Emperor Meiji pays his first visit to the shrine after waiting for Masakado to be removed. In 1923, the main hall burns down during the Great Kanto Earthquake. In 1934, the main hall is rebuilt with a steel frame and reinforced concrete. This helps Kanda survive World War II bombings, unlike many other historical sites in Tokyo. In 1975, the impressive Zuishinmon, the gate leading into Kanda Myojin, is built to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Emperor Showa's enthronement. In 1984, by popular demand, Taira no Masakado is re-enshrined. And finally, in 2003, celebrating the 400th anniversary of Edo period's opening, the main hall is declared a National Tangible Cultural Heritage Site. Now on to present-day Kanda. Today, Kanda Myojin is popular with businessmen looking for success, lovers, and otaku alike. With its close proximity to Akihabara, Kanda has taken on some electric town love in the form of protecting your electronics and by accepting popular anime characters as mascots. 
Shinto priests even offer special ceremonies to protect your smartphones and hard drives from evil and hopefully other IT woes. You can also pick up omomori or charms specifically designed to protect your technology. I totally picked up some of my own to protect my work servers, although I did not opt to have them blessed in person, as it's rather a hefty amount of money, and I'm pretty sure my office didn't want me hauling our servers across the Pacific on vacation with me. In 2015, Kanda adopted a popular anime character, Nozomi Toji, from the anime Love Live as an official mascot after the character was shown to be a shrine maiden at this location. It is still a popular destination on Love Live otaku pilgrimages today. And Kanda has taken the opportunity to partner not only with Love Live, but other animes to come out with limited edition merchandise and charms. So there you have it. From one of Tokyo's oldest Shinto shrines to one of Tokyo's top geeky pilgrimage destinations, Kanda Myojin has a long and interesting history. If you're ever in Tokyo, I highly recommend the stop. Kanda Myojin holds a special place in my heart as being the place I was first introduced to Goshun Chos, or honorable stamp seal books that have become a hobby of mine to collect as I visit different temples and shrines. I hope you like this video. Next week, we'll be covering the afterlife of Taira no Masakado and why even the U.S. government bent to this vengeful spirit's will.